You have one unheard message. First unheard message sent yesterday at 7.15 p.m. Closure happens right after you accept that letting go and moving on is more important than projecting the fantasy of how the relationship could have been. So today I want to talk about an important concept. Closure happens right after you accept that letting go and moving on is more important than projecting a fantasy of how the relationship could have been. This quote is powerful and it's a reminder of the importance of accepting reality and finding closure. We often hold on to relationships not because of what they are, but because of what we imagined they could be. This fantasy keeps us stuck, hoping for a change that may never come. The first step to finding closure is accepting that the relationship wasn't what you needed it to be. Many times we fall in love with the potential of a person or the relationship. We see glimpses of what it could be and we hold on to those moments, convincing ourselves that things will get better. I remember being in a relationship where I constantly told myself, if only he could be more attentive or things will improve once we get past this rough patch. But the reality was those changes never came and I was left feeling more disappointed. It's essential to recognize that holding on to a fantasy is a form of denial. We deny the reality of a situation because it's easier to believe in a hopeful future than to face the pain of letting go. However, this denial only prolongs our suffering and keeps us from moving forward. Accepting that the relationship wasn't what you needed it to be means looking at it honestly. Ask yourself, did this relationship truly make me happy? Did I feel valued and respected? Were my needs and boundaries honored? If the answer is no, it's time to let go of the fantasy and accept the reality. This acceptance is liberating. It allows you to stop wasting your energy on trying to fix something that isn't yours and isn't right for you. Instead, you can redirect that energy towards healing and self-improvement. It's about reclaiming your power and making choices that serve your best interest. Moving on from a relationship also involves understanding that you deserve better. You deserve a relationship that meets your needs and aligns with your values. By letting go of what could have been, you open yourself up to new possibilities and healthier connections. Finding closure is a process and it takes time. It involves grieving the loss of the fantasy and the future you had imagined. It's okay to feel sad and to mourn what you hoped for. Allow yourself to go through these emotions, but don't let them hold you back. Forgive yourself for holding on to the fantasy. It's a natural response to want things to work out, and it's a sign that you have the capacity to hope and to love, but now it's time to love yourself enough to let go. Take time for self-care and reflection. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Surround yourself with supportive friends and family who can remind you of your worth and help you stay grounded in your reality. So in conclusion, closure happens when we accept that letting go and moving on is more important than projecting a fantasy of how the relationship could have been. Embrace the reality of the situation, prioritize your well-being, and allow yourself to heal. Your future holds the possibility of true happiness and fulfillment free from the constraints of past fantasies. By letting go, you make room for a relationship that truly meets your needs and brings you the love and all the joy you deserve. So I know this is a really quick message, but I really wanted to get it out there. I think I'll upload more quick messages like this more often. But uh, if you want to hear the audio version of this, you can go over to my podcast at Time Out with Trish via Spotify. I'll leave the links below. Thank y'all so much for watching and do share this video with someone that needs it, that is currently going through this to give them some encouragement. Thank y'all for watching. Love y'all so much. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.